never done this before. I've decided to download a Super Mario World ROM hack from the list of SMW Central hacks that are waiting to be moderated. And this one is called Paper John Lang, which as we can see already is pretty different. You can see that we don't have Mario this time, we have this other character, I'm guessing named John. And instead of Yoshi, well, besides just Yoshi, everything seems to be different. What are those envelopes? Well, the sign's still the same, except it's a different color. Anyway, let's begin. I've decided that I'll no longer be using the Infinite Lives cheat code when I play a ROM hack. I'll either be doing it save stateless, or I will be using save states, but... I'm probably going to start save stateless. This is going to be a blind run of this hack. Okay, anyway, uh, here we arrive at Side Island where Queen Yo Giglius has taken over. Paper John must defeat her to restore the land. Good luck. Okay. So, World 1 1, and here we have Paper John's house. We cannot go down to World 1 3, presumably 1 3. I can't make up my mind right now whether to go to Paper John's house or to World 1 1 first. This is Paper John's house. Why not go inside and power up so we can get started with this spectacular adventure? Okay, seems like a hack that's going to be fair. I hope. Um, I don't want to lose a life in my own house just yet. Oh, huge. Okay, uh, three up. You know, let's go back inside, see if that 3-up is still going to be there. This power-up is still going to be here. We got a feather. A Super Mario Bros. 3-style feather. Leaf. Well, out we go. The 3-up does not reappear. Okay, now let's go into World 1-1. Not going to be easy to fly over the level now, is it? Welcome to Side Island. <laughs> My name's Mr. Bimba. I'll be your tour guide for Side Island. And what a fun island it's going to look like. Either a fun island or a dangerous island. Hey, wait, wait. Apparently I can double jump in this. But, I gotta wonder, am I able to switch between power-ups? Nope. I can only hold one power-up. Wonder if it's going to be like Super Mario Bros. 3, where you downgrade to a regular Super Mario regular Super Mario. I gotta stop saying that. Okay, a pipe up. A pipe up? No, it's not up. So many coins here, I'm guessing. I think they're going to be... well, not coins. Okay, up at the top right, it looks like it's coins, but these look like some type of, I don't know, gems. And anything inside this? Um... I guess it's just another fire flower. Or not fire this time. Well, it could be purple flame, but it looks like he's shooting different shaped gems at them. And, um, hello there. I am called a Bostro. I am a creature that lives here on the island. Hop on my back and we'll be off on a spectacular quest. So, um, yes, we get Bostro instead of Yoshi this time. This is the exit. This is how most of the levels on the side island will have to exit the course. Exit right here. But is there anything underneath? Because if I know my red levels, no, it's not going to be there. We're going to have exclamation marks, by the way. And great, I missed the gold tape. Well... Let's just move on. Maybe not. Is this going to be a red level? Well, what do you know? You pause as the music keeps going. And there's a pipe right here. Under this ship, I'm guessing? Whatever type of boat it is? Either way, from the graphics I see here, different fish, different Koopas, different Goombas, and everything. Yes, I'm definitely feeling optimistic about this hack. For a blind run, anyway. And, well, the coins, the gems do float pretty high. 
is... Is there going to be a key in Keyhole somewhere? Is there going to be a secret exit here? Is it going to be hard to get? We'll see. Okay, a pipe right there, and... What? What is that? What is that? Well, I guess we won't know. Might see some other time. Okay. Wait, wait a minute. Um... Just checking. Okay. Something here. Okay, they both lead me out here. Now what do I do? Just turn the music up a little bit. I have no clue where there would be a secret exit in World 1-1, so... Hmm. I thought we were going to have a World 1-1 rehash here. Hmm. Just nostalgia kicking in. This is the start of your grand adventure. If you have questions, hit me up and I'll give you advice. Hmm. Alright. So that's apparently supposed to be a 1-up mushroom, those purple whatever those are. Purple peppers, maybe? Whatever. And inside here, those, yes, those roots, apparently they belong to cherries. There are five of these tokens in every level. The Yoshi coins, I get how they work, so... Yeah. And instead of piranha plants, we have hands. What do we have here? Um, hmm. I guess we're in some type of mine here. Do we have to make a choice between the pipe we want to go? Maybe not. Something there. I see some ground, too. So... W what Really? I really don't know why that one green pipe there led me to death. I can see here that these gems, they indicate where there are pitfalls. Opposite of what I'm used to, but at least they're an indication. More coins. Alright, let's go in here now. Will it kill me this time? Apparently it will. So, forget this pipe. Let's just move on. Skip it. Okay, a green block. And that's a checkpoint, I'm guessing. And that sound effect, I'm guessing it is. Okay. Now let's just swallow more of these. Gonna move on. <laughs> Jumping hands. They really, really want you. And I can see those yellow switch block outlines. Is there a switch palace after World 1-1? I'm beginning to think that there is. Okay, another Yoshi egg. One up instead. And a coin. Let's not let's not use lose our squawk. Our Yes. Oh great, I already forgot the name. Boss Bustro. That that's what it was. And now. Okay, a pipe here. And okay, that pipe doesn't really do anything. But, hey, we got an 18. Enjoy your victory, John. I really don't know. I think the yellow switch the yellow switch palace is cleverly hidden in one of the pipes in World 1-1, as a red level anyway. Well, here comes the chuck. Or whatever or whatever it's actually called. Just gotta remember. Cannot double jump when we're on Bostro. That's what it seems. I can double jump when I'm. <laughs> yes. Scaring chickens in a chicken farm. I guess that's that could be what it sounds like. But hey, we got a Bostro on this egg. Hack seems like an easy source of one-ups. Paper John can break turn blocks even when he is in his small form. Okay. I forgot. You cannot. You cannot. In cannot swallow chucks. Another one. And shells. Being kicked by what now? What are those? Hmm. This gate marks the halfway point of this level. Not all levels have one. Okay, I, I see. Could have, could have told me that earlier, but I guess we're limited to two messages per level, so I can understand. And, hmm, 
underneath some type of castle in this natural landscape. Kinda seems odd. Well... I guess that makes it kind of hard for the grass to grow down here because of... Yes, because of that, these castle ceilings blocking the light from getting down to the grass. Oh! Well, you know, I guess I can fly, assuming I run fast enough. And three... Yes, three of those Bostro coins, I guess. Whatever. Okay. And... Okay, good thing you're still here. Yellow switch blocks. Um, let's not fall into the pit. Let's not fall. Okay. Do you survive, Bostro? Do you? Yes! Good. Feel guilty if you didn't. Well, let's swallow these hands. Yes, return the favor to them. Okay. Gold tape near? Is it going to be near? Really, I don't know what's going on here. It's such a strange world. Well, we get to see if the bonus game is changed at all. And another one up. I'm only three levels in. <laughs> well, three and a half, I guess. Bonus game still looks to be the same. Jump sound effect sounds so weird. Arrow pointing to where I collect the one-ups. Okay. Huge. A huge bonus. Well, half of a huge bonus, I guess. Okay. Hidden palace number one. Not really hidden, is it? Or maybe that there's a hidden palace somewhere inside this. Okay. Now what? God, I hate those hands. Precise jumps, too. Pretty precise, but... At least there's nothing coming after me, so I think I could handle them, except maybe the invisible note blocks. I guess double jumping does come in handy here. Even though John here doesn't seem to jump very high, yes, the double jump w could make up for it, but only if I actually make it up there. Oh, great. I also notice I only get 200 seconds for this level. Okay. And... As a bonus for making up here, we get a Bostro. Okay, gotta be careful. Really careful. Yeah, losing my Bostro. That's careful. Well. And a whole bunch of blue blocks here. I also like how... how John can fly. And inside this, another feather in case we lose it. Yeah. When John when John jumps b just before flying, he doesn't jump that high. Not nearly, well, not even close to as high as Mario, but at least he's still able to glide. Okay. Switch, switch palace, get. Okay, with red levels, maybe, maybe they don't have two exits. Maybe they just have a gimmick to them, such as 1-1 one, one being a dead end, Hidden Palace number 1, well, being a Switch Palace, just the Switch Palace, press the switch and beat the level. Maybe no other exit afterwards? Okay, so we can return to it, apparently. But, I don't know. Are we able to survive? Well, we can survive if we start select our way out of the Hidden Palace. There's no goal point after you get the switch, so start select's the only option. Either that or dying. Well, anyway, I'm going to call it a video for now, and I'll see you next time.